GGRC. Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC, here on GGRC. And uh, also, over here, you can't see his head? Pick his head up, okay, over here. Well, I assure you, this is his head right here. He's not showing. <laughs> but this is Sushi, the big gray mound of fur. He's actually awake right now. He's not sleeping for once. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at Attack of the Toy Tanks. Now, it is exactly as it says it is. You play as a toy tank, trying to destroy other toy tanks. Now, tanks have been around forever in video games, right? But this really reminds me of old arcade and 2600, uh, Atari 2600 game Combat. Now, Combat was a game where you and a friend would play as separate tanks and go around obstacles and try to shoot each other. And this looks like the 3D version of that, which I'm sure has been replicated and made, you know, previously in other games as well. Um, but here we are. We now are uh, leveling the battlefield with toy tanks, trying to take out other tanks, and uh, I really wish there were some army men around, you know? Maybe pop up out of the tanks or something like that. You're not going to see any of that stuff. Basically, what you see out here on the title screen is what you get. You get your, your title, and you get your tanks rolling around shooting each other. That's the whole game. Uh, so let's jump in. Let's check it out. And, of course, let's not forget to put the sound on here. Okay, so, Attack of the Toy Tanks. You have, uh, obviously, the option of playing single player, so you can play against AI tanks, or you can play multiplayer. I feel like this game is really going to shine in multiplayer. Unfortunately, I don't have the capacity. I don't have another player here to play with. It's only local, uh, uh, only local competition in multiplayer. It's, unfortunately, not online, or so it would seem to me. Um, and, of course, Sushi can't play with me here. Uh, but it seems like that's where this game would really shine. Uh, you playing co uh, couch co-op with a couple of buddies, uh, trying to shoot each other around corners and everything like that. Uh, and you're going to have to get used to shooting around corners because that's what this game is all about. So here, let's jump into the single player game. Um, there are 60 levels in this game. I have only reached level 7 so far, and I am not great at this game. Uh, I'm, I feel like I'm slowly devising strategies and plans to this, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first level, and then I want to show you guys how difficult this game goes to, like, as soon as you go to level 2. So here, here's level 1. And here we are. We're this blue tank, and on this level, basically, they just this is a, a tutorial. They're basically telling you, hey, left stick uh, for rotate direction. This aims w which way your tank is going to go. Right stick to aim which way you want to shoot, so we can shoot one of these tanks, blow them up. There you go. Uh, of course, you have A and R to shoot, which we've already done. Oop, we're missing them. We missed them both. There we go. Uh, now, what what is a, another weird part is that ZL is backward and L is forward. So on the same same, I, I kind of see what they're going for, but I've always thought of the triggers as like how you you drive. I really want to be able to move with the top right trigger forward, but that's shoot. Um, yeah, and I could see why they would do it that way, because you're driving your tank around, you're not going to think to hit buttons, I guess, because you're aiming at the same time, so, I don't know, maybe, like, a stick click in on the right stick, maybe, might have been, like, the best route to take, you know, aim and click, I don't really know. Um, but it, I would say the controls feel a little awkward to me, uh, having to go back and forth between uh, reversing and going forward. So you are going to notice a little bit of a difference, but I have been getting used to it. I've get, been getting more used to it. I can, you know, take quarters pretty well here, shoot around quarters like that. I'm getting a little bit better. Um, and that's what this game is all about, I think. It's about, you know, taking that time to get better at it. Exactly, Sushi. I don't know if he came through on the microphone, but he definitely agreed with me on that one. Of course, buddy. Um, so we're going to jump into the next level. I want to show you guys how crazy this gets. It's only going to be a one-on-one -on -one show right here, right? So here it is. We drive through. And as soon as the tank sees you, look at that. This tank, as soon as it sees you, boom. <laughs> you are exploded. I'll show you again. Even if we go down away this way, here we can grab the, uh, the time power up here. There we go. I actually managed to get him there. But the majority of the time, these tanks are so deadly accurate that as soon as you are on screen, they take you out. It is it is quite crazy. Let's jump into the next level, shall we? Here's another one. Uh, a lot of these levels have taken me multiple tries to get through, and each level does have a little bit of a... Uh, I guess you could say... Well, see, I'm getting real lucky here recording this. This level originally took me several tries to get through. 
Um, but every level sort of has its own strategy, but it's always the same strategy. Sort of, you want to peek around a corner and try to clip them while you're, you, you know, going forward and backing up, taking cover. Uh, so there is a little bit of, like, a stealth and cover shooting type of mechanic here. All right, we'll play one more of the of the ones that I've already played here. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, now, you if you... Uh, oh! See, he got me from around the corner there. So you gotta watch what the other guy's doing at the same time here. But if you shoot, uh, you happen to shoot the bullet that the uh, enemy shoots, uh, you will take him out. See, uh, this is one of those things where, like, you definitely, as they say, gotta get good. Because you come around the corner, they more than likely are gonna hit you every time. However... Oh, there we go. I got real lucky on that shot there. Okay, so we peek around here. Trying to figure out how to approach this one. Oh! Oh! Missed him. Okay. We'll go up around here. Gotta be careful. Oh, see, you got me. So it's tough. It's tough to devise these little plans. Uh, I believe last time I might have taken the guy out on the right and then went around top and, like, took cover there and just, like, had a shootout with the guy to finally take him out. It's a tough little level. Uh, we're actually gonna jump out. Let's let's go to some levels I haven't actually finished yet, uh, and I want to talk about the menu system here too. Um, I know that this is a five dollar game. I understand that, but the presentation is not great. That is to say, that they count up how many times or uh, what your time is on every level. You know, you can see. Oh, my best time here was uh, 14 seconds, and I got a gold. My best time here was you know 5.121 seconds, and I got a silver. Right. Um, but why aren't they using, like, a star system? How come when you finish a level, then I have a little pizzazz saying, like, Hey, you got this many stars for how well you did because of time and whatever else. Um, it doesn't really dictate to you, also, like, what you need to get to get a better time. Uh, you'll start a level and start counting up time, but it's like, how fast do I have to be to get whatever, you know, uh whatever uh, rating you're going to give me. And that can be a little frustrating because I, I'm like, I don't know really what I'm going for here. Should I be aiming for 10 seconds? Should I be aiming for 15 seconds? I don't really know. The weird part about it is that if you look on the menu here too, if you look above level select, they actually have three stars up there <laughs> on the wall, which I was just like, why can't those stars be down here to let us know like, you know, how many seconds it's going to take for me to get, you know, from a gold to silver to bronze. Um, the menu itself uh, also is a bit weird because... They've set it up, and I think they know that the game AI is, like, pretty difficult to deal with. Um, because they've unlocked every single level here for you to play at your leisure. So we could jump right to 15 if we want here. So why don't we jump to 15 and see what this is all about. Looks like we got some kind of a turret laser thing that's gonna drop. Ah! But we got, uh, tanks coming at us from behind. That I did not see. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully we'll actually be able to... Oh, no, he still got me. Jeez. Never stand still. And that was my main problem right there. All right, so we're going to take out this guy first as soon as he appears. Okay, we got him. Okay, we can go backwards. Oh, so that laser's going to follow me where I, no matter where I go. Oh, he got me! And I got him right there. Man. Let's try this again, shall we? There we go. Okay, as soon as he appeared... Oh, jeez. That did not work out, did it? Now, it, the other thing that's weird, too, is they don't tell you what weapons you're using. Believe it or not, there are different weapons you use in this game. Uh, there are bullets, which uh, I have been using mostly, but the other tanks, and for this level, uh, actually, uh, you shoot uh, these little... Uh, see that tank just ran over that? They're like little landmines that they can run over, which is kind of cool, so... Really, with these, you could you can kind of... Jeez. I don't know how that tank is able to get that vantage point around that corner every single time. It is tough. But it's kind of cool, like, with a, a weapon like this, because you can try to, try to bounce it into the right spot for them to run over. Even though they put... There we go, like that. Oh, hit it! No, he didn't run over it. I really thought he was going to. Well, I was about to say, I was like, somehow... <laughs> okay, I don't know how I'm going to beat this laser here. And I get 
pretty easily mixed up with these literal tank controls here. They do get a bit difficult to deal with. Come on. Roll over my mines. Uh, this is another thing where uh, I have taken the approach of like, I'm going to take my time and see if I can take these tanks out at my leisure uh, instead of going for like the best gold rating that I can go for. Um, because chances are, I'm not going to be fast enough to take care of them anyway. There we go. Okay, we got him on a bounce. Now we just got to get this last guy here. There, we got him. Okay. Terrible rating. Look at that. 73 seconds bronze. That is an easy bronze right there for sure. But we managed to get through it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we left off at level 7. Let's jump into whatever level 8 was supposed to be. We'll play a couple more levels here uh, so you guys can see what we got going on over here. All right, so now we're shooting actual bullets. Now, these actual bullets will will fly straight across the, uh, the whole scene here. Uh, but we got mines to, to watch out for, so keep that in mind. Oh, jeez. I don't know how that happened. Another tank, or rather the other tank hit that tank, and I hit the other guy in the back. So that, that worked out pretty well for us right there. All right, so we're shooting bullets again. Wait, oh, I walked right into it. Walked right into it. Now, the interesting thing is that the first couple levels I played of this, I was just like, oh my god, look at they're shooting two bullets at once. Did not notice that before. Um, the first couple levels I played of this, I was like, this is a little unfair with how accurate these tanks are right off the bat. Um, but you start to realize that there there is a bit of strategy to just kind of hanging back and taking it easy and outsmarting the other tanks. They, they are... Look at that right there. They are seriously overpowered. And that's part of the fun of trying to outsmart them, I think. Um, when you got two OP tanks that both shoot uh, tons of ammo at you at once, that is part of the, the fun of trying to figure out what you got to do here. Um, so the, when it, once you get past sort of the learning curve... Oh, jeez, I backed right into that. And I, I cannot get past the controls for some reason. The controls still... They still... Uh, get in my way a little bit while I'm playing here. Not that I played a whole lot of this game, to be fair. Like, I could probably use a bit more practice. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, I don't know how that happened. I, I, uh, uh, hit him. Oh my god, I was so close. Um, this is one of those games where, you know, because I'm playing with a controller, um, if I had a mouse, I feel like I would be doing a lot better because I could control the tank how I want and duck around where I want. Like, this game feels like it was made... And it quite possibly might be on Steam already, but it was made to be a PC game. Like, you use the WASD keys, you use the mouse to aim, click to shoot. It just feels like the control there would be so much easier. But the control here is really what is what is killing me here uh, in, a, in a lot of different uh, situations, I would say. Okay, there's one tank. Okay, we're going to spin around here. Okay, he went... Ah! Okay, we got that tank for cover. So if one... Oh, come on. So if one dies, um, you can actually use that for cover and you can use that uh, to shoot at if need be. Oh, jeez. They keep click clipping me right there. Uh, what's nice is when you uh, are in the middle of a level two is like if you die immediately, you don't have to wait for the menu to tell you you're dead. Uh, you can actually... Oh, God. I went right into that one too. You can actually just hit X immediately and restart the, the level. You can restart at any point here. Which is kind of nice. Quick restart. Okay, we're going to try and get this guy. Okay, we got him there. Oh, got him! Oof. I got super lucky on that one right there. And that is still a silver. Somehow, you need to do... Uh, you need to kill both of those tanks faster than that to get a gold. Crazy, man. It's going to be a very challenging game. Uh, if you, you are going for uh, any kind of 100% completion type of status. Uh, we're going to see if we can get through this one, but I'm not so sure. Okay, we got one. Let's back up. Oh, 
Oh, he blew me up right as I got him. Ugh. That sucks. Yep, and I backed up right there. The little tank explosions aren't bad. For a cheaper, cheaper budget game, they're not bad. Oh, jeez, I keep backing right up into it. I don't know what these guys are shooting, these green balls or whatever. Some kind of nuclear thing. Oh, look at that, the bounce, he got me on the bounce. Oh, it's gonna bounce again. Huh! It only gets one bounce though. Okay, so we got two guys coming around the corner here, so we're gonna try to go around. Come on! Alright. We'll, <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give this a couple more shots here, see what we can do. Oh, jeez. This is just not working out for me. I gotta think of a better strategy. Or get very, very lucky. Alright, got him. He peeked over. Okay, we're gonna race this guy here. Come on. You going back around or you coming this way? There we go. You gotta surprise him. Get him when he comes around the corner and surprise him. But there you go, that is a bronze. And what level does that take us to? That takes us to... 10, so we made it to level 10 and we also did level 15, so there you go. So strange that you could do these completely out of order. I guess, it, to me, it would make sense to unlock the next two or three levels in case you get stuck on one. Maybe that's why, like I said, maybe they knew the AI for this was, like, super OP in certain situations where the other tanks could just immediately, like, shoot right your direction and get you almost every time. And they were just preparing for that. I really don't know. But everything is unlocked right at the beginning. Um... But anyway, that is Attack of Toy Tanks. It is on the, uh, available on the Switch right now. Um, it's it's a game that I consider okay. Uh, it is a $5 game, so keep that in mind. I don't think it's bad. For a $5 game, I think it's actually really good. But I think that um, this is going to be a game for uh, people who want... Um, a ch they know they're going into a challenge, something they know that's going to be overpowered. Because I don't think that this is a game that kids are going to like unless they play the multiplayer with their friends. I think if they play the multiplayer uh, with their friends then they're going to have a good time because they're just going to be blowing each other up. You know, then they'll devise all their own, you know, personal tactics and strategies against each other. However, playing against the computer, I think kids are going to get frustrated and considering it's called Attack of the Toy Tanks, I feel like the demographic for a game like this is for kids. Kids are going to say, oh, Toy Toy, uh, toy Tanks, this sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, that, that's my take on this. I don't think it's a bad game, I just think it's a bit, a bit on the difficult side. I feel like the difficulty could have, like, ramped up a little bit easier. Uh, maybe the first 10 levels, you know, it was kind of like the, these are the easy mode levels, you know, tanks tanks will shoot back, you know, not as much or they're not as accurate. And then maybe they have, you know, 10 through 20 tanks are a little bit more accurate, a little bit more fast, uh, you know, in the game and everything and actually have it scale up. But basically what it is is like every tank is the same tank, same speed, uh, same accuracy through the whole thing. So it's, it's kind of interesting that they took that approach with it. Like I said, not, not I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. It's just kind of an interesting take on the whole difficulty ramp up type of thing. You know, that just right out the gate after a tutorial, it's like, boom, you are going to get owned here. Uh, but maybe that's what they were going for. I really don't know. But just so you know, that's what's happening here. Uh, but there you go, guys. Attack of the Toy Tanks. And of course, I will see you all in the next quick save review. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.